part one failure so ye kal ka track record hai and i lost 80 dollar yep i lost 50 percent of my capital so let's talk about my failure first of let's go one by one first go gp okay give me a second give me a second so first gp chf wow uh okay gp us let's go from the same thing gp us chf what is it uh, the stop loss was hit what i did mistake <laughs> i took the trade of 10 8 81 10 8 81 yesterday was like 8 81 somewhat here 881 yep is this level and my book profit was around this level 10881 i don't know how it is going 10881 10881 somewhat here as sell Okay, I did sell actually. Okay, so sorry, I took trade, it lost it around here. After this, uh, dozy candle, I took trade at least level sell, and I must have taken a big profit instead of taking a profit of one is to two, 94 is to 18, which would have been profit obviously. But my stupidity, it was a 21 minutes support also, 21 EMA support. So, but I have taken a big profit of 10954. Let's see which 10954. So 10954, 10954. Okay, again this level. I did again same mistake like taking a big profit and but I exited also put the stop loss was the market moved down. And instead of taking one is to two, I took a very, very, very big. Eight, eight, one. and i made a big huge mistake coming to gp and jd i closed it today only and i've entered again let me show you why so as you can remember yesterday i told that it is forming a double bottom at uh, hourly for time frame and i will enter a trade if it shows a good buying signal and it showed a good buying signal here and the level is my entry level is what? 3220. 3220. Wow. Very good hammer stick candle and very good result to okay to enter the trade to uh, 3220. Wow. At this level, I will be very happy. Again, big target, small, small loss with the big target of taking at least point. And what happened? The market came down. And although I put a stop loss at this level, but I exited it today's morning. The reason of my exition, I exited down this level, I think. 20263. 20. 20263. Around this level, I've exited something. No, no. I exited a yard. Uh, exit 3091, sorry. 3091. At this level, I've exited at this level. Although I could have stayed, but I don't want to be stupid enough. So again, I'm entering today with this second same thing, double bottom at hourly chart. And my TP will be around this level, at this level, sorry. Yeah, the next support is this one. I'm not going to be too much greedy. So because I can see multiple support at this level. So it is of loss of uh, profit 31, loss of 38. But when it's come to double top bottom, it's always suggested that I have to take uh, 
and size of this top let me take it like that so it is like it is here around 30 40 it is here around 40 30 70 it will be around 70 i will take around 70 here somewhere here yep at this this is my support so for the study four hour time frame i've exited i should not have i think but whatever i think i got emotional because it was still going on run again i took the pro entry at top entry instead of exiting i should have taken one more entry okay whatever now going to njd chf so what mistake did i do in njd chf njd chf i went for buy trade yep i went for buy trade i went around this candle let me show you so market started it came to this range and it with this bullish candle i took the buy trade with the stop loss at this level what is stop loss mine 5448 5448 below this one you can see here below this hammer i took the sale i took the boy buy here but the market came down so what i feel like here is that even though it is a range uh, i have seen one thing even though it is my support area which i can if i extend this one it should be at least supporting two area so it was not a support for me yesterday if i extend this one like here so i can see like yep it is a range and the range is a little big till here but what i am finding i will show you one more trade like what i am finding one more thing that is this support resistance which is the average area it is more effective when it is forming at 21 EMA or 50 EMA, you can see here. It is an uptrend. So, in uptrend, we will not, it will exit time. So, it doesn't make matter entry. But you can see here, it is a 21 moving average entry point. It is a 50 moving average entry point. It is again down, not down, trend is coming. So, it is an exit point. Okay. So, you can see here, it is also a 50 moving average. So, I have to be very careful which trend I am following. And secondly, here, you can see that this is an uptrend. Here the divergence diversion has incurred. This diversion has incurred and the market started going up. So I would have I should have taken the only uptrend, not the downtrend. And so it is more important when you trade is to follow the trend, which is very, very, very important. And I traded, I think, against the trend because the market was going up, up. Again, come down, it is going up, slightly up, slightly up. So it is showing an uptrend, you can see here. In hour four also, I can see it is going uptrend. Until unless it's come to this level and go down, I should have gone up. The weekly time frame, it shows, uh, So when doing top to bottom analysis, I am think I think I'm missing something here. And I have to find out what. Now coming to USD CHF. It's a big uh, stress for me to see this much loss. Now as I can see here, I've taken sell. And I have taken sell at which level is today? This is a straight time frame. I've taken sell at this level. You can see here the time price is 90524. Control sorry, 90524. Yep, it is here. Control F 90 90524. Yeah, let me come this one. Yeah, this 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 is the point. So here I can see the market open, then it went down. So this is, I can see this is morning star, then after the second confirming candle, and that confirming candle, four, five, 
go to uh, this confirming candle around something here i have taken the trade 524 but again this is neither at 21 moving average which i have told you earlier before this there will show you one more example neither at 50 moving average so taking a trade at this level was very risky even if uh, following fibonacci i you know you guys must have heard about fibonacci never take trade we should always wait for it to come to 21 or 50 moving average so if i even if i waited for this level this 21 touching and taking trade this one so it will be a profit of one is to one that's good or even better if 50 then you have taken profit this should be still going but i didn't wait so this is the second this was most better is trying to not take not to take the trade because it is forming one zone also you can see here so this trade was very bad i should have waited for it to come to 21 ema or 50 ema yeah i'm a bit bad trader very bad now coming to euro euro usd very euro usd what did i do here it is an so let me show you you can see from the viewpoint it is a uptrend going on yeah day before yesterday friday this market movement has done a confusion but market has still taken its place it's uh safe to go up now let's see what stupidity i did yesterday i what i did euro usd oh i did buy only okay good i did buy but at what level 5769 where is 5769 5769 yeah at this level here i took the buy wow and after this white candle so market opened here it formed the evening star so the more so this is called morning star my mistake so when it comes to down it's called morning star of evening star my mistake i think some confusion whatever it's a star normally so it's a morning star it is rising now and after second candle kind of comes i even took the interview 5769 okay now i will go book profit of this level wow the profit was 6074 6074 by 6074 it's around here yeah, this level i can see the support at here i can see the support at here there's two supports so i will take the profit this level so i entered the buy here and put the stop loss below here but again same thing repeating it was too above the moving average neither 21 nor 50 so what had happened it hit my stop loss 14 dollar oh if i had waited to come to 21 or 50 which did it did come here it made a indecision let me enlarge a little it made an indecision two indecision candle you can see two doji candle okay and then after it made a bullish engulfing bullish candle it's called bullish engulfing you can say that because of it is covering all the uh indecision candle doji candle but after Doji can it showed an uptrend. If I had entered here, my stop loss would have been. Let me show. Uh -huh. I think my. So if I have entered here, my stop loss would be around uh, 200. To, if I taken 400 ratio, wow. Control F. This is the same support level. It's rich just you can see here. So if I have taken the trade here with the stop loss of. Uh, Give me a second, my keyboard is not working. Yep, I think because of my sweaty hand. So if I have taken a stop loss at this 200 and profit at this 355 or even 400, I would have succeeded. And it was better to take 300 because if I take a 300, it will be at 350 approx. It will have the supporting area. 382 must be also good, not doesn't matter. So but I am so smart, literally. I took at this level because it was the range. Now going forward, whenever I will try to make the range, I will be making sure that range is around 50 moving, not the past 50 moving, but the present also past. It should be around 50 moving average because it will be making sense to me uh, that I am doing a good task.
Okay, so once this range is still valid, the original range was still valid. We will control Z, and it was taking at this 50 moving average here. The range is valid, but my entry is not valid. And yet I lost another fifteen dollar. Now coming to Euro GBP. Day before the study also I entered in ninth. I entered Euro GBP and I exited because I was waiting for good entry point. Let me score to Euro GBP. So what happened? Yeah, let me recall. Day before the study I saw this black big black movement. I entered this sell here. I tried to take profit at this level, but whole day market. Came here and I exited in the evening around this point when the market was something 86 86 0 8 8 6 0 uh, I exited around 86 3 8 6 9 8 6 3 6 9 at this candle. This hammer I exited because it was having some confusion. Then after yesterday, I took the trade when the yeah. Again, I am very genius. Same mistake. Yesterday I made the same mistake again. So again, I can see this. Uh, let me enlarge it for you guys. So I made the same mistake. I after market opens, this makes the bullish candle. This small hammer, this engulfing candle. Oh, oh, oh I take took the trade. Small uh, sell trade at 86 3. 29 approx. 329 somewhere here only. Yeah, it's in the nearby here only. 329. Yep, this one at this black and oh, oh, this is forming my evening star. And what happened? The market went up and I hit the stop loss. So, as if you are seeing my audio book, which I started preparing, uh, recording, so there I am learning about top to down analysis. It's a training book about. Uh, Psychology of candlestick. I don't know who wrote it. I didn't remember the name. The point is that in that uh, book, it is very said very clearly that yeah, uh, candlestick nothing is nothing but uh, movement of the market. So if you see the movement in market in low time frame, but you go to high time frame, there's those movement will consolidate into one candlestick. So in that book, I can see that uh, it is well advised that I should take the trade based on the candlestick. But it is very important to see those candlestick part um, uh, pattern at the support and resistance level. And now I am realizing that that support and resistance level is important. Also, the moving average is more important. So now going forward, I will take seeing two things. I will seeing the uh, support and resistance level at the moving average either 21 or 50 and the candlestick. If this three qualifies, then I will take the trade. So let me make the rule. My rule will be one. So my trading rule will be like. So from now on, my trading rule will be first, if it is a support or resistance. Second, is it also at 21 or 50 EMA? And is the candlestick pattern, does the candlestick pattern validate the entry? If the answer is yes to all this question, then only I will enter the trade. Or or else I will not. So it's 20 minutes of discussing my failure. I will take a break of five minutes and I will resume the trading. You can also take a break of five minutes.